everybody Ann here sitting inside the tiny house having my coffee with all of you. Today it's just going to be a have a look around at things and see what's growing and what's dying. And by the way, sorry about the sound, I got fans going because it's actually cooler inside the tiny house than it is outside. So, uh, so I apologize, but I will not speak louder. I, I won't shout into the phone. I don't have an external microphone, so I'm sorry. If you can't hear me, um, I just do the best I can and just kind of keep on keeping on. Oh my goodness. Yep, you know what you're going to be. I know you all know what this is. I've only found one so far, so I'm going to go look for more. But this one's fate is sealed. All right, where are you at, girlfriend? Come on, Olive. We're going to give you a nummy. Yes, we are. Here we go. Here we go, Olive. She can't find it. Here it is. Get it, girl. You'll get it. You better get it quick. Now the chickens. Coming to get it. There you go. See that? I think those are eggs. Yep, definitely gonna remove them. I'm gonna go right on ahead and burn this thing in fire. Oh yeah, you deserve it. Oh look it. There's one of the egg thingies that got stuck on the brown paper bag. Doesn't want to burn. Got news for it. It's gonna burn. <laughs> this is dead. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think it's coming back, you guys. So I need some soil for the chicken dust bath. So that's what this is gonna become. I'm gonna give this one a little bit longer. So we'll have to wait and see. Green beans, whatever. Tomatoes, this plant is looking pretty gosh darn good. Doesn't look like it's been eaten by anything. Got a bunch of nice tomatoes. This one was the one that got chewed up. <laughs> Whatever. Look at, yeah, I should probably eat, I should probably just go ahead and clip this off. This one's mm, doing okay. Cayenne peppers are doing really, really well. Um, of course, the raspberry bush is doing good. All of these pepper plants are doing good. I have moved these pots over here because they seem to do a little bit better over here. It's a little bit more shaded. So, um, cherry tomatoes. I thought I had a, yes I do. I got me a little cherry tomato right there. And these are just the other kind of tomatoes. So, but pepper plants are doing just fine. This uh, cucumber plant, not, not doing so good. I'm gonna take off the rest of, of the little cucumbers and just pull all these out. I'm not gonna expend any more water resources on this plant because it's basically dying. The green beans, I've been picking green beans off them. There's a few down there right now. Um, I've been pulling off the yellow leaves and it's been producing more, more leaves. So that's good. Over here, that's the squash. That one little squash that I had, it dried up and shriveled up. So I don't know what happened to that, but, um, oh, there's another one. There's another one, right? Can you see it? It's like, right, okay, hold on a second. Right there. Okay, well maybe we'll get some squash. All of the herbs are doing good. The microgreens coming up like crazy. Lilies are looking beautiful. Basil's doing okay up here. Uh, I think it might be getting a, just a little bit too much sun. And all this stuff is doing good. And look at that. Look at that little pot of microgreens down there. That was just that yucky soil that I threw down in there. And it's growing like crazy. So I'll feed some of it to the chickens. And when it gets tall enough, I will snip it off and put it on my sandwiches. That rosemary's doing good. More microgreens. Those are just about ready to harvest and put on a sandwich. And all this is just doing fine. But, look at, look at my poor sunflowers. They dead. <laughs> oh well. The beauty berry plant is doing good, but I do need to snip some back because I have to, have to, have to make 
some bug spray. Um, I have to have bug spray. Banana pepper plants are starting to come back. Whoa, that's new. That happened like overnight, but they're looking not so great. The jalapeno peppers continue to produce tons, and they're not even big plants. They are just putting out a lot, a lot of peppers. So this over here, I think I'm going to go ahead and harvest this today because I don't think it's going to get any bigger than this. It's been staying about this size, um, and this plant just isn't growing. So I'm going to harvest that and figure out something to do with eggplant. Sweet baby chickens are out. All of the chickens are out. In fact, these little tiny chickens pretty much free range on their own. Sometimes they stick with the rest of the flock. They always come home at night. <laughs> so, uh, Miss Pris taught them well. And they are just growing and thriving. And they know how to keep themselves safe. Of course, if a hawk came down, that would be all she wrote. But, you know, that's an inevitable part of life and free ranging chickens, I guess. There is always the potential that one of your chickens is going to get taken by a predator. You hope and pray, but the trade-off for letting them free range is far more beneficial to them than keeping them locked up. Look at these beautiful chickens. Yeah, these are like two separate flocks. See, Rocky, Rocky, Splash, and Raven kind of chum around together. Olive used to be with them, but she's in the Easter acre pen. And then the other chickens free range with Romeo. And Romeo has been chasing poor Rocky around like crazy. So I'm going to have to think about what I'm going to do about that. Time to go look at the apple trees. They're growing a little tiny bit. This one's got more leaves, new leaves, than this one. This is the Gala, or Gala, however you say it. But it's doing pretty darn good. Here's the apple. It's getting bigger. Look at that. Yeah, it needs to ripen, but it is definitely growing. Look at that beautiful tree. And then this is the honey crisp. It's getting a few new leaves. And it doesn't look like I've got any more of those pests, although they did do a little bit of damage to the leaves, but not too much damage. It's also growing very, very well. Thanks, Mom and Dad. I was able to coax Rocky into this yard. The reason why I did it is because Romeo is being pretty relentless with him, and he's crowing more often and trying to mate with the chickens and I just didn't want there to be bloodshed. I don't even think he realizes Olive is here yet. I think he's gonna go around the corner and find her in a minute. Together again. See? Okay, hopefully this will go well. He's already kind of gone after the baby chickens, but I expect that's gonna happen. Hopefully they'll just all get used to each other. I know I said it, I wanted that Easter egg rooster back in here. If Torch is a rooster but oh see look at he's trying to do the chicken dance and get with this one but I figure I think this will work out okay and this has to be it for this yard this has to be it for this yard no more chickens I don't think will fit in here I mean they'll fit they'll be just fine actually let's see one two three four five six one two three I think maybe one more two more chickens max as far as roosting purposes but I think we're just going to kind of stick to this right now and just see how he does in here. If it doesn't work, you know, I can always bring Torch in later and take him out and do something else with him. Maybe put him in that other yard and just let him out to free range after or be even before I've let the others free range. But we'll just have to play it by ear. So hopefully he'll be happy. Last night I didn't have to put Olive up in the coop. All of the chickens went in to roost on their own, so hopefully she will show him the ropes and it'll be the same thing. I had thought that maybe, maybe I could chop some of that wood today or get the front lawn mowed with my little reel mower. But you guys, it is so, so suffocatingly hot that I almost passed out. So I went into town and uh, got some ice and I got my little fans on me right now. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.